we are discussing the theme of krishna is most wonderful and most charming and most merciful and we were discussing the ninth chapter of the 10th canto where krishna is bound by his mother yashoda and we were discussing how the supreme lord is controlled by his devotee and in the last two classes we discussed about gratitude to connect with krishna and we also discussed how krishna has amazing contradictions we discussed 10 contradictions of krishna and how these contradictions make krishna most attractive and most beautiful so today we'll continue the past time where parikshit maharaj is surprised he is very surprised to see that such exalted gandharvas have been bound to a tree now today what you're going to discuss is a very very important theme many of us have come to iskon we are connecting with the lord and we are on the verge of diving into an unlimited ocean of deep spiritual happiness but we don't experience it because there is a thin veil that covers us from the ecstasy so today we are going to discuss how if we remove that one small thing which is extremely powerful though then bhakti becomes a refreshing experience every day every moment we will be enjoying we will be happy you know it's like imagine your tongue a thin plastic sheet is put on your tongue and then you place a gulab jamun on it would you experience the taste of gulab jamun just a thin plastic sheet that spoils the whole thing right so gulab jamun if you want to taste it that sheet has to be removed right similarly to taste krishna to experience krishna there is this one obstacle which has to be removed what is that the mother of the grandmother or the grandfather of all obstacles what is the biggest biggest obstacle because of which we can't experience that refreshing krishna bhakti doubt well interesting bhagavad gita says uh, something else theek hai that's also right there is something because of which we are unable to experience krishna okay you will discover the answer in this past time parikshit maharaj is surprised how this attractive gandharvas were bound to trees now krishna is going to show how like mother yashoda bound krishna right we discussed last time krishna is going to show how another devotee has also bound krishna and krishna is going to fulfill his desire so shukde goswami says that these two personalities nala kuvera and mani grieve they had become very proud they were in kailash they were in the ganga enjoying with their girlfriends and they had become completely naked and they were enjoying with girls and narad muni came there when narad the great saint came there the girls immediately felt shy and they covered themselves but nal kuvera and mani grieve they were intoxicated they were proud and they shamelessly didn't care shila prabhupad writes that generally people go to ganga to remove their sins but they were in ganga doing <laughs> more sinful activities so what happens what is that obstacle we are talking about today pride. pride false pride not the real there is a good pride also but false pride and when we are intoxicated by false pride we don't realize how degraded we can become that's the main theme of this section you know i don't know if i've experienced it sometimes when a person is drunk i don't we see it in india a lot but i don't know if you see it here on the streets they are walking and he's you know he's shouting and he may fall into the gutter and if you ask him sir how are you he'll say i'm doing well i'm great everybody can see that he's intoxicated everybody can see that isko chadi hui hai but he feels i'm all right i'm good i'm good have you seen something like that this is the power of intoxication when we are falsely proud everyone can see he is puffed up 
he is arrogant he is proud but this fellow he can't realize that's how this is the most powerful unwanted thing in our heart if we can take care of false pride we can experience it's like removing that plastic sheet then bhakti becomes amazingly exciting you know that you no know, to practice and enjoy bhakti we need to have that innocence have you seen a okay i'll ask you a simple question a 6 year old child and a 26 year old man who is happier <laughs> why you may say oh he doesn't have any responsibility all of that that's okay but there is another aspect to it that innocence that faith that sweetness that purity wouldn't you want to have that purity inside to feel the joy of then we actually experience krishna prem but we are unable to because of this false pride which bless blinds us which is so intoxicating in india they say haath kaam nahi karta thand mein हाथ काम नहीं करता ठंड में और दिमाग काम नहीं करता घमंड में सो दैट इज अवर प्रॉब्लम सो वट हैपन एन अ पर्सन इज ड्रंक इज इंटॉक्सिकेटेड इज फॉलोड इन द गटर एंड इज थिंकिंग इज ऑल राइट हाउ डू यू गेट इम आउट ऑफ दर इंटॉक्सिकेटेड कंडीशन हाउ डू यू गेट इम आउट ठीक है इट्स अ टाइट स्लैप देन वॉट हैपन्स यू सीन दिस टाइट स्लैप एंड देन यू कम्स आउट ऑफ इंटॉक्सिकेशन सो नारद मुनि He is going to give a tight slap to these two upstarts, Nalkuvar and Manikri, because they are intoxicated with false pride. So the only way they'll come out of it is if they get a slap. Narad Muni is a pure devotee. He is an embodiment of compassion. He arrived on the scene and he is seeing these two guys are very puffed up. The scriptures say, "Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shastra Koi, Lava Matra, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhi Hoi." just an association of a pure devotee just a little bit lava matra you will get all perfection therefore it's important to have connection with the pure devotee of krishna like narada muni or shila prabhupad brahmanda bhramite kona bhagyavan jeev guru krishna prasade pai bhakti lata bij after wandering through many many lifetimes we finally come to krishna who gives us a guru So Narad Muni sees these two naked men, intoxicated with pride, absolutely no etiquette and no manners. He feels sorry for them. Externally, he appears to be angry, but actually, internally, he actually feels compassion for them. He wants to help them. So he apparently curses them, but he curses them in such a way that their false pride goes away. You know, Shri Prabhupada. when he was in america in 1960s late 60s he went to that morning star ranch where all naked is a community where people were living naked men women would go around normal life like you and me the only difference is they were naked they believed that we should be naked shri prabhupad went to that community to preach <laughs> he went there and he was shocked so he saw one man in the fields and shri prabhupad said What are you doing? He said, "I am growing potatoes." She the professor said, "No, I am saying, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> what is this stupidity?" So that statement of Shila Prabhupada hit him so hard. He just followed Shila Prabhupada, and he went on to become a devotee. And next day he came to temple, but he came with clothes on, and then he became sixteen rounder devotee. He got initiation, and he went on to become Shila Prabhupada's disciple, and his son. went on to become a even greater devotee and he has done so much amazing service for iskon he's made a beautiful film many films on iskon very beautiful and you go to their house you see dt's altar you will never imagine that 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 kind of a past that's how powerful a pure devotee's association is so krishna is bound by mother yashoda is also bound by narad muni's desire narad muni cursed them and what did he curse them you want to be naked without clothes like the trees stand without clothes trees stand for years you remain trees you become trees but you become trees in the sacred village of vrindavan so that you can see krishna's pastimes and you remain trees for thousands of years but with the consciousness of a human being or or a gandharva see it's it's very terrible okay if you are a tree but your consciousness according to scriptures is avrata trees consciousness is the lowest 
it has life the vedas say but it is consciousness is avruta then there is birds and animals which is sankuchita mukulita like that consciousness expands but trees are the lowest consciousness that's why they can tolerate heat cold extreme rain but imagine the consciousness is of a gandharva of an evolved being but the body is of a tree what pain what suffering so he curses them and shila prabhupada writes in the purport sometimes the child is fast asleep the father comes and pinches the child why because the child has forgotten to take the medicine but the child wakes up and the father gives the medicine sri vishnu chakravarti takur give another analogy the child is fast asleep but he didn't take the kheer so mother wakes him up and then gives him the kheer so shila prabhupada says nal kuvera and mani grieve were sleeping intoxicated so narad muni is now pinching them so that they can get krishna so that they can get experience of krishna and they can overcome their false pride so when a pure devotee curses or comes into our lives it's like the alarm going off trang what happens when the alarm goes off in the morning we immediately wake up right but what do many people do when the alarm rings off snooze so when we go through tragedies when we go through challenges in life we could take it as an alarm that is making us get up or we could press the snooze button so we go through all of us have gone through wake up calls in life suddenly you realize you are false pride narad muni tells this to upstarts that there are four things that give lot of false pride you know what are those four things janma aishwarya shruta and shri high birth lot of learning lot of wealth and immense beauty if you have these four then there is lot of false pride and out of these four which is the most dangerous wealth why because wealth can give us access to the other opulences also so then he says narad muni says you are fools you are blinded by <clears throat> arrogance and you are proud of your body this body is useless you are intoxicated with pride and that's why you can't see krishna in the heart of all living entities and now if you are deprived of your wealth if you are deprived of your beauty and false pride you will become humble and you will be able to experience krishna so many of us go through very very intense situations after coming to krishna consciousness we could see it as an opportunity by the lord to help us remove our false pride mitya ahankar because when we have false pride we become insensitive to devotees others problems others needs shrila propas spoke the famous legendary story of that french queen when she was told i think mary antoinette she was told that the citizens in the country have no bread there is so much poverty and what did she say when she was told the citizens don't have bread to eat she said oh then let them have cake <laughs> so the people got so angry they killed her so narad muni is saying when we are disconnected from people because of false pride we can't help anyone so he says become trees suffer when you suffer you will be able to become humble and then you will be able to help others you will be able to empathize with others there is a very famous book i read many years ago it's called wounded healer it's by a christian preacher who went through a lot of suffering in life and he says because i am wounded i am able to heal well i am able to help lot of people so when we go through suffering we can see it as an opportunity to help others and overcome our own false pride so narad muni chants this beautiful verse which is a purport to his curse yata kantaka vidhango jantor nechati tam vyatam jiva samyam gato linger na tata vidha kantakai kantaka means thorn he says when you are afflicted by thorn it pains so much and you don't want anybody else to get that thorn because you feel the pain you don't want others to suffer similarly if you suffer like trees then you will never want others to suffer in this world and you will overcome your false pride but although this is a curse you see there is a big blessing here what is the blessing vrindavan and what does that mean that means they are going to see krishna 
performing past times but externally they have been humbled from a very big position they have been dragged down so many times we go through that in life we are humbled surgery happens krishna does surgery of the false ego we should accept it shri prabhupada said the famous phrase punah mushika bhava you know this become a rat once again there was a there was a sage a rat approached a mouse approached him and saying that i am afraid of a cat this cat is going to kill me oh sage please help me the sage said may you become a cat so he became a big cat and he drove away the other cat then the cat came running oh sage help me a dog is chasing me he said may you become a bigger dog so then he became a big dog and he drove away that dog then the dog came running oh sage help me help me the jackal is chasing me so he said may you become a bigger jackal so then the jackal chased away the other jackal so the jackal came running oh sage help me help me this lion is chasing me the sage said may you become a lion so then the rat the mouse mouse means mushika mushika had become cat cat had become then he became dog then he became a jackal and now he became lion and then he looked at the sage and he said nice breakfast sage is a nice breakfast i am hungry so he started chanting maha prasad e govinde looked at the sage for his breakfast and the sage looked at the lion and said oh now you want to eat me i made you a lion i curse you punah mushika bhava become a mouse once again so this is what uh, has happened to nalkuver and manigrev this is what happens to us when we become falsely pride, proud and narad muni is saying of all the four wealth is the greatest source of false pride do you know this famous story in india of mr sushil kumar anybody knows in 2011 he was the first man to win the kaun banega karodpati 5 crore i think they have a contest for 1 crore rupees but he won that 5 crore he was the first man to win 5 crore rupees in the kaun banega karodpati contest and so much wealth he got he was a simple man from bihar but he got so much wealth and you know what happened to him please read on the internet his story if i tell you the whole story you will be like shocked don't read now <laughs> people are so distracted they immediately go on google baba and so sushil kumar <clears throat> suddenly realized he has many friends everybody started flattering him inviting him calling him as chief guest and then all the money started going 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 and eventually he became a pauper he had no money left he became a he had only one cow <laughs> and he was selling milk and his wife was about to leave him he became a drunkard he got into drugs he got into all bad habits he almost died and today in 2023 he is a simple school teacher in bihar earning 15000 rupees every month and is leading he says i am very peaceful now he lost all that 5 crores but he says i am so grateful so that what happens when we become wealthy not only we become intoxicated with pride suddenly people start making you also very feel you are very special and suddenly you realize you have many friends but when you lose everything what happens nobody is your friend mirza galib have you heard of mirza galib he is a very famous urdu poet he said meri jeb mein zara sa ched kya ho gaya galib meri jeb mein जरा सा छेद क्या हो गया गालिब सिक्के से ज्यादा तो रिश्ते गिरने लगे है ना दैट वॉट हैपन्स वेन वी लूज मनी नो बडी लव दिस वेन वी हैव लॉट ऑफ मनी पीपल आस्क हाउ आर यू एंड वेन यू लूज मनी हु आर यू दैट्स ऑर लाइफ चेंजेस ड्रामेटिकली सो नल कुर मनी ग्री वर ग्रेट गंदरबस अमेजिंग ब्यूटिफुल हैंडसम and enjoying with women in the ganga and enjoying intoxicated and now there are trees who are you nobody cares shri prabhupad would quote this famous chanakya's verse markatasya surapanam yata vrishchika damshanam tanmadye bhuta sanchara edva tadva 
भविष्यति स वेरी ब्यूटिफुल वर्ड्स चाणक्य से जस्ट इमेजिन मर्कट से सुरापानम यू नो वॉट इज अ मर्कट मंकी हैव यू एवर सीन अ मंकी डूइंग मेडिटेशन पीसफुली मंकी मीन्स जंपिंग सो ई से वेन वी आर इंटॉक्सिकेटेड बाय फॉल्स स्प्रेड वी आर लाइक मंकी मंकी इज नेवर पीसफुल मंकी इज जंपिंग अराउंड सो वी आर ऑलवेज हाइपर एक्टिव वेन वी आर ड्रिवन बाय फॉल्स ईगो एंड देन ई से इमेजिन अ मंकी मर्कट से विच इज सो रेस्टलेस सुरापानम Imagine the monkey has drunk liquor. Then what will happen? How active he will be? Markatasya sura panam madhye vrishti ka damshanam. And imagine on top of being drunk, a scorpion bites him. <laughs> and then imagine on top of that, tan madhye bhuta sanchara. Imagine a ghost haunts him. So you, first of all, it's a monkey. Secondly, drunk. third scorpion has bit him and fourth bhuta then what will happen edva tadva bhavishyati then whatever happens will happen <laughs> so he says it's uncontrollable so we have false ego on top of it we get good body good beauty and then we get wealth it's all like adding more and more it's like scorpion biting it's like ghost possessing therefore if you see in india any many of you may be uncomfortable with this truth many saintly people they voluntarily accept poverty I mean, they live with, they live with less uh, resources. Now, I want to clarify: it's not that if you are poor, you don't have pride. <laughs> you know, sometimes people think, okay, I will, uh, you know, I will become poor, then I will have no false pride. No, even a beggar can be proud of his penny. You know, one very famous newspaper reporter in Mumbai he used to give money to beggars. He used to give uh, one rupee to one beggar every day. and dadar dadar is a railway station in mumbai and he saw after some days that beggar was not there begging there so he thought what happened to this beggar maybe he has died then after a few weeks he was going from the other bridge in dadar he saw that beggar there he said oh you are begging here i thought what happened why did you leave that spot he said that bridge <laughs> this beggar is saying i don't beg there anymore because that bridge i gave away in dowry on my daughter's wedding so he gave it to some other beggar so who begs there now so even a beggar can be proud i had a friend in college called vikas i remember he was a very financially endowed man he had his own company pvc pipes and he was very generous we would go on a long drive in the car in south bombay and once i remember at the traffic stop light one beggar came on the window shield and he asked for money and uh, and you know i also didn't have change he also didn't have change and it was a big car luxurious car and i'm like and i said chutta nahi hai you know what he did he threw one rupee coin inside the car chutta nahi rakh lo sab kaam aayega so he is a beggar but he has pride will you ever give money to a beggar if he <laughs> throws the money at you you got so angry with us that you are such a big car and you don't have money to give so my friend vikas He told him, "Look, you are begging for money. Look, I have a very big company. You come and join me. I will give you a place to stay. I will give you three times food. I will give you clothes, and I will give you five thousand rupees salary every month. This is in we are talking about 1993. It's a big deal, five thousand rupees. You know what this beggar said? You join me, I will give you ten thousand rupees every month." <laughs> so he said i have resolved never to give money to beggars again so what I'm, the point i'm trying to make is just because wealth gives us false pride we should clarify it doesn't mean that if you are poor you don't have false pride that's not like <laughs> you know it's like saying smartphone smartphone if you have you get distracted but that doesn't mean everybody who has a smartphone is distracted but smartphone has a potential to distract you and it is very likely that you will be distracted similarly the bhagavatam says wealth will distract you it will distract you with false pride now does that mean we torture ourselves and become poor no shila propad writes a beautiful beautiful statement in the purport every devotee should know this he says overeating causes diabetes undereating causes tuberculosis our devotee should neither be diabetic nor tubercular which means we should neither be you know 
amassing wealth and become greedy and that doesn't mean you go and become poor tuberculosis is like becoming poor so do the basic but focus on krishna bhagavatam says devotees should earn money according to their capacity they may not have high needs kamasya nendriya preetir labho jeevet yavata jeevasya tattva jigyasa narto yasheha karma bhi spend all that energy on earning money but use that money for spiritual it spiritual growth sometimes i'm and boys will come and tell me prabhu ji i'm not going to earn much money you know i just want to be simple happy i say wait wait don't earn money because your needs are not there earn money because you have a potential to earn more money you are cap- you are capable so do what you are capable of you keep your needs simple who is telling you to increase your needs but you are talented do what you can do don't don't suppress yourself so the point is as you get older we need to take shelter of krishna we need to overcome our false pride so the moral of the story is in this episode if narad muni's curse is such a blessing imagine what will be the blessing of a pure devotee so we should aspire to be close to pure devotees and get their blessing satam prasanga mama virya samvido bhavantirutkarnarasay nakatha तजोशनादाशवर्ग वर्तमनी श्रद्धा रतिर्भक्तिरनुक्रमिष्यति द भागवतम सेस असोसिएट विथ प्योर डिवोटिव एंड हियर अबाउट कृष्णा देन द फॉल्स ईगो विल गेट डिजॉल्व कमिंग टुगेदर एंड डूइंग साधना विल हेल्प अस डिजॉल्व आवर फॉल्स ईगो एंड देन वी कैन डू सेवा नाइसली सी वी फोकस ऑन सर्विस इस्कॉन इज ऑल अ सर्विस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी वॉन्ट टू सर्व कृष्णा एंड द फाउंडेशन ऑफ दैट सर्विस इज साधना because sadhana is also service when we come together and practice hearing chanting in association our false ego does dissolves and <clears throat> we should hold on to these pure devotees because they have bound krishna with their love narad muni cursed these two upstarts and krishna says oh narad muni has cursed them narad muni told them that one day krishna will come and deliver you so now to fulfill narad muni's desire i will deliver them so nar krishna krishna is bound by his mother's ropes and he is not able to release himself but look at the contradiction he is releasing nalkuver and mani grief he is not crawling to the trees with his wooden grinding mortar you know something amazing about krishna krishna you know um, bilamangal thakur says krishna takes away everything but krishna gets bound is a beautiful verse he says धनम च मान चतेन्द्रिया प्राण शरुवा मम सर्वे पलायसे कुत्र द्रुतोद्यचोरा तम भक्ति धामना सीमया निरुद्धा इस इज कृष्णा यू टुक अवे मै वेल्थ यू टुक अवे मै फैमिली यू टुक अवे ऑल मै पोजिशन बट यू हैव टेकन एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम मी वॉट अ थीफ यू आर यू हैव स्टोलन एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम मी बट where will you run away you thief palaya se kutra drto dya chora e chor ap kaha bhage jaoge i will stop you how tvam bhakti damna simaya nirudh i will stop you by the rope of love you may say wow krishna is so powerful can't he break this rope can't he break an ordinary rope bila mangal takur says krishna can easily break any rope but he cannot break one rope chinat sigoram yama paasha bandham pinat se bhimam bhava paasha bandham chinat se sarvasva samasta bandham naivatmana bhakta kritam tu bandham he says krishna can break the rope of material life samsara he can bro- break the ropes of yamraj yama paasha bandham chinat se sarvasa samasta bandham he can break the rope of all your attachments but he cannot break tvam what is that chinat se sarva samasta bandham naivatmana bhakta kritam tu bandham the rope that the devotee ties him with love that rope krishna cannot break so krishna is bound by mother yashoda's love he is also bound by narad muni's desire that these two men should be delivered so our hope is somehow we have to be connected to shila prabhupad a pure devotee then we have hope
बिकॉज दैट प्योर डेवोटी विल टेल कृष्णा कृष्णा हेल्प हिम कृष्णा प्लीज रिलीज हिम द भागवतम एज अ ब्यूटिफुल प्रोपाथ गिव्स अर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अर्जुना यू नो दिस स्टोरी ऑफ कांडव प्रस्थ दैट होल फॉरेस्ट वॉज डिवॉर्ड बाय हु अग्निदेव सो एन अग्नि वॉज डिवॉरिंग दैट फॉरेस्ट दर वॉज वन डीमन हाइडिंग इन साइड यू नो इज नेम माया सो माया वॉज रनिंग आउट ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट एंड कृष्णा वॉज स्टैंडिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम विथ सुदर्शन चक्रा ई सॉ कृष्णा इज गोट टू किल मी ही लुक बैक टू रन एंड दर अग्निदेव वेटिंग टू डिवॉर हिम सो ई सोइंग बैक अग्निदेव सींग फ्रंट कृष्णा हो हु विल सेव मी हु विल सेव दी लुक इन द साइड अर्जुना वॉज स्टैंडिंग ही रैन टू अर्जुन एंड फेल इट इज फीट एंड अर्जुन आर टोल्ड अग्निदेव स्टॉप ही टोल्ड कृष्णा स्टॉप फन भया धन ऑफ सर्ट ओ अर्जुन थैंक यू सो मच यू सेव माई लाइफ वॉट कैन आई डू फॉर यू यू सर्ट ओ आई जस्ट सेव यू आई एम नो बडी कृष्णा इज गॉड गो टू कृष्णा सो ई टोल्ड हिम गो टू कृष्णा एंड यू फेट कृष्णा थैंक यू यू सेव्ड माई लाइफ वॉट कैन आई डू कृष्णा सेट यू मेक नाइस पैलेस फॉर पांडवस सो शीला प्रोपाद राइट्स अ परपोर्ट टू दिस पास टाइम इन भागवतम फर्स्ट कैंटो ये सेज वी आर लाइक माया दानव अग्निदेव इज लाइक फॉरेस्ट ऑफ मेटल एक्जिस्टेंस संसार धावा नलनीड लोका वी आर बींग बर्न बाय दैट फायर वी आर रनिंग रनिंग एंड वेन वी गो फ्रेंड हू इज देयर काल चक्र सुदर्शन चक्र कृष्णा इज देयर एज टाइम सो वी आर फेसिंग टाइम एंड वी आर फेसिंग मटीरियल एनर्जी सो वेर वी शुड टर्न on the right side we have shila prabhupad who is like arjuna and what did shila prabhupad want nothing what did arjuna want nothing he said you go to krishna shila prabhupad just wants us to go to krishna and what does krishna say okay make a palace for arjuna pandava so similarly what does krishna tell us serve the pure devotees be in iskon serve the devotees so prabhupad writes a sentence there this past time proves that by the mercy of devotee we get krishna because by mercy of arjuna maya danav got krishna and then he says and by the mercy of krishna we get chance to serve pure devotee because krishna told him to serve pandava so he made palace so i'll repeat this sentence by mercy of devotee we get krishna and by mercy of krishna we get a chance to serve pure devotees do you see this so the fact that we are all serving here in iskon seattle means what we have been given a chance by pure devotee and shila and krishna krishna has given us a chance to serve shila prabhu that means we have been saved actually vishnu chakravarti takur writes a beautiful purport here he says if we want long run if we want whole life to be happy in bhakti we need uh, to have lot of faith and he says this faith comes by three things so one of the things is satam kripa satam kripa means causeless causeless blessing of devotee means ऐसे यू नो ऐसे जस्ट ओके यार इसका उद्धार हो जाए बस सताम कृपा मेहनत सेवा शुश्रूषु इस इज मेनी थिंग्स बट सताम कृपा इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द बेस्ट एग्जांपल ऑफ दिस इज गिरिराज महाराज यू नो दिस इज एन अमेजिंग पास टाइम आई वांट टू शेयर दिस इज लाइक अ लाइफ चेंजिंग पास टाइम दिस शोज वॉट प्योर डिवोट इज आर डूइंग यू नो गिरिराज महाराज इज अ यंग कॉलेज बॉय इन बॉस्टन शीला प्रोपात कम्स टू बॉस्टन एंड ई इज सिटिंग इन द ऑडियंस and after the class proper says any questions so giriraj das was that time a college boy i forget his legal name and he raises his hand he says how do i know who is a genuine guru he asked this question you know what shila prabhupad does shila prabhupad points a finger he says what do you want you want to serve god or you want to become god so he was totally blown away because he saw that propas finger pointing to him actually he felt propas saw directly him and through his eyes he went to the room where giriraj maharaj was staying as a young college boy and in his room he had put a big poster of one buddhist monk with the finger like this saying you are god <laughs> and when he asked shila propa who is a guru propa said you want to be god or you want to be servant of god so he felt propa saw that poster he got completely shaken and then propa gave some answer after the class then propa left boston and after 3 years he came so when he came after 3 years by this time giriraj this boy had become giriraj das brahmachari he was you know 
devotee chanting distributing books he was staying in the boston temple and propath came again gave a class and again in the class giraj maharaj that time was a young brahmachari raised a question and he raised his hand and propath looked at him and said ho oh, i know you so then giraj maharaj says i was surprised he remembered me and you know what propath said because giraj maharaj was thinking he says i was thinking this three years i became a devotee he was thinking i am such a good person you know i came to iskon i immediately understood the philosophy i started chanting 16 rounds i joined the temple i am a nice devotee i am a good devotee i like krishna i am a very stable devotee he was thinking like that and here when shila propath looked at him and said oh i know you when i came last time i saw you and then propath said i saw you and i immediately prayed to krishna krishna this is such a nice boy please please krishna please make him a devotee so then giraj maharaj heard it he said then i realized why i became a devotee i thought i had become devotee i am chanting so this is the power of a prayer satam this is satam kripa when a pure devotee prays you know like i know a devotee who prays for different devotees every day when i asked him why do you do that you know he says i am not somebody great i cannot pray for anyone you know krishna is not going to listen to my prayer but i am not a pure devotee but i pray because i know that so many devotees are praying for me so i feel as a service let me pray for others and i feel happy that way see the whole idea is you know we are we are an interdependent society we all need blessings we all need each other trust me when i say this nobody can say that you know i am a sanyasi you know i don't need anyone no we all need each other we all need to pray for each other love each other you know i don't need anyone that is arrogance and everybody needs me that is illusion hai <laughs> na mujhe kisi ki zarurat nahi ye aham chhodiye mujhe किसी की जरूरत नहीं ये अहम छोड़िए सबको मेरी जरूरत है ये वहम छोड़िए एवरीबडी नीड्स मी गिव अप दैट इल्यूजन एंड नो बडी आई डोंट नीड एनी वन गिव अप दैट एरेगेंस सो देर फोर वी नीड सताम कृपा वी नीड ब्लेसिंग ओनली देन वी कैन ओवरकम द फॉल्स स्प्रेड अदरवाइज वी कॉन्ट ओवरकम फॉल्स स्प्रेड बाई अवर इंटेलिजेंस because false false ego is subtler than intelligence so then shukde goswami reveals what was krishna thinking you know just imagine the situation krishna is tied to a wooden grinding mortar and is crawling outside the house of nanda maharaj and is going to release nalakuvar and manigri who are tied to the wood tied to the tree amal arjuna tree so krish so krishna is thinking shukde goswami says risher bhagavata mukhyasya satyam kartum vacho hari jagama shanake statra yatra stham yamal arjuna krishna said risher bhagavata mukhyasya this is narad muni is a great devotee satyam kartum i will make his statement true he told these two boys that krishna will come and deliver you so i will make his statement come true why why is so desirous krishna to pl- fulfill narad muni's desire because krishna says devar shir me priyatamo yadimo danadatmajo tat tata sada ishami yad geetam tan mahatmana he says this devar shir narad is very dear to me devar shir me priyatamo and then what about these two boys what do you think krishna thinking of them narad muni very dear to me devar shir me priyatamo and these two yadimo dhana dhatmajo they are rascals krishna knows they are rascals but he says what to do tat tata sada ishyami i am bound by mother yashoda's love i am also bound by narad muni's words so what i will do yad geetam tan mahatmana this is a mahatmas geeta see what krishna has spoken we call it bhagavad gita what narad muni has spoken to these two boys krishna calls it mahatma gita 
He says, Mahatma Gita is more important than my Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> because pure devotee has desired that they should be delivered. Srila Prabhupada desired that we should become devotee. So that's why Krishna fulfills. This is the power of being connected to a devotee. That is why you see all our Gaudiya Vaishnava Acharyas, in their intense prayers, they sometimes tell Krishna, Krishna, please make me a dog in the house of devotee. So that, you know, I can... These are many prayers. Bhakti no Thakur's many prayers. You know, Haridas Thakur, nobody has chanted Hare Krishna like he has chanted. I mean, he used to chant 192 rounds every day. When in the Mahaprakash, Hila Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling him, ask me for a blessing. I can give you any blessing. I can give you unlimited wealth, opulence, anything. You know what blessing he asks? You can repeat this verse after me. Sachira Nandana Bap. Kripa karo more. He is saying, Sachira Nandan. Oh, Sachira Nandan, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, oh, Mere Bap, my father. Kripa karo more. Give me this blessing. What is the blessing I want? Sachira Nandana Bap. Kripa karo more. Kukuru koriya more. Rakhe bhakta ghare. Make me a dog <laughs> and let me live in the house of devotees. This is the desire of Haridas Thakur. Hmm? That's why Narutam Das Thakur says, Chadiya Vaishnava Seva Nistara Peche Keva. How can we give up shelter of Srila Prabhupada and wonderful devotees? Brahmaji prayer also he says, Vedeshu Durlabham Madurlabham Atma Bhaktu. We cannot know Krishna by scriptures simply. Therefore, Rupa Goswami has told, Guru Padashro, first step of bhakti is to get proper guru, proper devotee association. So Krishna goes, he, his wooden grinding mortar gets stuck between the two trees and he pushes gently and the trees crash with a thunderous sound and lightning erupts from it and two dazzling personalities emerge, Nalukuvar and Manigriv. And they stand there in front of Krishna and they offer, time freezes at that moment. And they offer beautiful prayers that Krishna, you are supreme personality of Godhead, you are beyond time. Generally when we read Bhagavatam, when we read prayers, we do fast forward. We don't, we don't read prayers. We think, we let's go to the pastime directly. Actually, this is the most important. The prayers, you know, what they are offering prayers, this is exactly how we can also offer prayers. They are saying, Krishna, you are beyond time. Krishna, you are so wonderful. No one can understand you, Krishna. We simply want to offer obeisances to you. And then they are, you know, Srila Prabhupada writes in the purport, instead of trying to understand Krishna in detail, let us just offer obeisances to Krishna. <laughs> He gives two logic. He says, Krishna is anyway everything, everywhere. Ultimately, everything is Krishna only. So, why, why are you trying to understand Krishna so much? Then he says, Prabhupada says, See, anyway we can't understand Krishna unless Krishna reveals. So, why are you breaking your head so much? Just offer obeisances to him. So, you read all this, na? sometimes we think we get prayers get boring when we read prayers. So, there is a technique I discovered which makes prayers very beautiful. You know, generally when we talk about Krishna, prayers of devotees in Bhagavatam, we talk in third person. We say, Nalkuver Manigri prayed like this. Kaliya prayed like this. We can change it to first person. See, we are right now talking about Krishna. Krishna is like the third person. Imagine Krishna was in front of you. What would you do? You would say, instead of saying, you know, Krishna is wonderful. Instead of saying, Krishna is beyond the three modes. What will you say? Krishna, you are wonderful. You are beyond the three modes. Try this. Instead of, instead of reading prayers for Krishna as a third person, make Krishna as the first. Imagine giving a class to Krishna. <laughs> imagine, imagine Krishna is sitting in front of you and you are speaking on prayers from Bhagavatam. So what will you do? If Krishna is sitting in front of you, what will you do? Will you say Krishna is wonderful to Krishna? <laughs> You will say, Krishna, you are beyond the three modes. Krishna, you are so wonderful. Krishna, you are so merciful. When we change that language of our prayers, then suddenly prayers become beautiful. Otherwise, we will memorize all the shlokas of Bhagavatam, but we will not get Krishna. Because many of us hide behind the prayers of Bhagavatam. We have to make these prayers ours. We have to, make, we have to invest our emotions in these prayers. Fanalkuvar Manigri are saying, Krishna, we are here, we saw you kill Putana, we saw you kill Trinavarta, we saw you doing so much, so many pastimes. But now, all the curses that we got and all the suffering that we went through, we are convinced it was a blessing. This is, is Nalkuvar and Manigri realization. They are telling Krishna, 
ನಮಃಪರಮ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ನಮಃಪರಮ ಮಂಗಲ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಶಾಂತಾಯ ಯದು ನಾಂ ಪತೇ ನಮ ದೇ ಓ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸಿ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸೀನ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ನೋ ಸ್ಪೀಷಿಯಸ್ ಟು ಸಫರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಸ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೀ ಫಾರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಪರಮ ಮಂಗಲ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ಸೀಕ್ ಪರ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಲೀವ್ ವೆನ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಅರೆ ವೈ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಲೀವ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಇನ್ ವೃಂದಾವನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದೇ ಗಾಟ್ ಟು ಸೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವೈ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಲೀವ್ ನಾವು ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಸೇ ವೈ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಲೀವ್ ಅಜುನಾ ಹೀ ನೋ ಭೂಮಂ ಸ್ತವಾನು ಚರ ಕಿಂಕರೋ ದರ್ಶನಂ ನೋ ಭಗವತ ಋಷೇರಾಸೀದ್ ಅನುಗ್ರಹ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸರ್ವ್ ಅವರ್ ಗುರು ನಾರದ್ ಮುನಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಸ್ ಮರ್ಸಿ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ದರ್ಶನ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಫಗೆಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಸೊ ಡೆವೋಟೀಸ್ ಇವನ್ ದೇ ಮೇ ಬಿನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸಿ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಸರ್ವ್ ಪ್ಯೋರ್ ಡೆವೋಟಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ಯೋರ್ ಡೆವೋಟಿ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ಆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಗಿವ್ ಅಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಡ್ಯಾನ್ಸಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರಿವರ್ ಎಂಜಾಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ನೇಕೆಡ್ ಗರ್ಲ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ವಾಣಿ ಗುಣಾನು ಕಥನೆ ಶ್ರವಣೋ ಕಥಾಂ ಹಸ್ತೌ ಚ ಕರ್ಮ ಸುಮನಸ್ ತವ ಪಾದಯೋರ್ನ ಸ್ಮೃತ್ಯ ಶಿರಸ್ತವ ನಿವಾಸ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಣಾಮೆ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಸತಾಂ ದರ್ಶನೆಸ್ತು ಭವತ್ತನೂನಾ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅನ್ ರೆಚೆಡ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ದೇ ವೆರ್ ಇನ್ ನಾವು ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಫೈ ಯು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಾಣಿ ಗುಣಾನು ಕಥನೆ ಶ್ರವಣೋ ಕಥಾ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಯು ಹಸ್ತೌ ಲೆಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಎಂಗೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಟು ಯು ಹಸ್ತೌ ಚ ಕರ್ಮ ಸುಮನ ಸ್ತವ ಪಾದ ಯೋರ್ನ ಲೆಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ ಇನ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಮೃತ್ಯಾಂ ಶಿರಸ್ತವ ನಿವಾಸ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಣಾಮಿ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಟು ಆಫರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫುಲ್ ಅಬೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟು ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಲೆಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಐಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೀ ಯುವರ್ ಡೆವೋಟೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಹಿ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ದೆಮ್ ಹಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದೆಮ್ ದೇ ಡಿಟ್ ಪ್ರದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೆಡ್ ಐ ನೋ ಹೂ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ನಾರದ್ ಮುನಿ ಕರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾರದ್ ಮುನಿ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ವೆರಿ ಪ್ಯೋರ್ ಡೆವೋಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕರ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡು ಯು ನೋ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ನಾರದ್ ಮುನಿ ಸಾಧು ನಾಂ ಸಮಚಿತ್ತಾಂ ಸುತರಾಮತ್ಕೃತಾತ್ಮನ ದರ್ಶನ ನೋ ಭವೇತ್ ಬಂದ ಪುಂಸೋಕ್ಷ್ಣೋ ಸವಿತೂರ್ ಯಥಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇಸ್ ನಾರದ್ ಮುನಿ ಎಂಟರಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಬ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಐಸ್ so you have got shelter of a pure devotee be grateful and then krishna said may your desires be fulfilled now you can leave krishna send them after krishna send them krishna is bound and krishna starts smiling <laughs> why is smiling he says i freed them but i am bound <laughs> they are gone but i am here stuck to this wooden grinding mortar actually i enjoy this binding more than all these big big prayers that they offered this is much much more relishable let me wait for my mother to come and release me so like this uh, krishna performed this beautiful past time the nand maharaj comes releases krishna now we have discussed this beautiful sweet vrindavan past times right tomorrow in the last session we are going to discuss krishna's kurukshetra past time see in vrindavan krishna killed demons by you know like putana he killed by drinking milk agasur he entered and he became big in size
अरे यू आर यू आर नॉट गिविंग मे वैल्यू यू डोंट नो आई किल्ड पुतना आई किल्ड अघासूर आई लिफ्टेड गोवर्धन सो श्रीदामा सेट अरे वी नो वॉट हैपन पुतना गॉट किल्ड बिकॉज युअर पेरेंट्स आर चैंटिंग सो मेनी मंत्रास फॉर युअर प्रोटेक्शन एंड अघासूर वी ऑलरेडी हैड गॉन टू इज माउथ एंड वी हैड किल्ड हिम फर्स्ट एंड गोवर्धन वी वर ऑल लिफ्टिंग ऑल द नंद गोपास वर लिफ्टिंग गोवर्धन विद स्टिक्स यू जस्ट केम एंड पुट युअर फिंगर एंड टू कॉल द क्रेडिट सो दे कैन बिलीव ओनली in fact even in vrindavan today the baba ji is tell you how govardhan was lifted they say kuch makhan so bal bado kuch gopan kare sahay shri radha ji ki kripa sho girivar liyo uthaye they say kuch makhan so bal bado krishna lifted govardhan because he is eating lot of butter he got some strength kuch makhan so bal bado kuch gopan kare sahay some gopas were helping him lift the govardhan and shri radha ji ki kripa sho shrimati radha rani looked at krishna <laughs> girivar liyo uta that's why he could lift girivar so so basically vrindavan is a beautiful beautiful sweet past times of krishna so we are discussing the theme in the this four days of krishna is charming wonderful and also merciful so krishna is teaching nalkuver and mani grave and is also performing beautiful past he is performing sweet past time but is also crushing false pride he is dancing on kaliya's hoods expert dance but is also crushing the false pride krishna does this amazing paradox in vrindavan and krishna is expert in multitasking you know when he was killing keshi krishna used his left fist and he hit keshi so hard in the mouth all keshi's teeth came out and krishna's fist entered keshi's mouth it became so hot keshi choked to death but rupa goswami says when he was killing keshi krishna's right hand was on the shoulder of his friend and with his eyes he was looking at jai shri shada nil madhav bhagwan ki jai shri ram lakshman hanuman ki jai gaur nita ki jai lakshmi narsimha dev bhagwan ki jai jagannath baldev swadra maya ki so krishna was killing keshi he was also joking with his friends At same time he was also composing poetry and he was also casting loving glances on the gopis <laughs> so many things krishna was doing at the same time our devotees also try that and they'll chant hari krishna also check whatsapp also <laughs> <laughs> they think they are like krishna <laughs> we can do multitasking <laughs> rupa goswami says this is quality of krishna krishna is called chatur chatur means one who can do many things at the same time so there he gives this example of how krishna killed keshi so we should not take inspiration only krishna can do multitasking we should not <laughs> imitate but in vrindavan everybody loves krishna they love krishna so much that it is called kevala bhakti their knowledge about krishna being god is covered they just love krishna and uddhava this is this is a problem uddhava had no uddhava was convinced krishna is god and he comes to vrindavan and tells nanda maharaj and yashoda that are baba nanda baba mother yashoda your krishna is god don't don't worry don't lament like that they are saying uddhava that is okay but why is he not eating properly <laughs> is he all right in dwarka But then Uddhav says, "Arey Nand Baba, Mother Eshoda, you know Krishna defeated Jarasandha seventeen times. So he is thinking if I give them such lofty figures, they will be impressed that Krishna is God." So Uddhav is telling them, "You know, so many crores of soldiers came and Krishna easily crushed them." And what Nand Baba says, "Oh, but he must be so weak then. Is he eating?" <laughs> proper food. He is. He is only thinking about Krishna's well-being. He is not thinking about Krishna being God. So Uddhav says, "No, Nand Baba, wait, wait. Krishna is the supreme Lord. You don't have to worry about him. He is God. Do you understand?" So Nand Baba looks at Uddhav and says, "See, I thought Uddhav, I thought you are intelligent. I thought you are disciple of Brahmaspati, but you are so foolish. We know from scriptures that God means Atma Kam." up the calm god means completely self satisfied but our krishna is to always steal butter and we know according to scriptures god is narayan who gives shelter to all living entities but krishna we gave him shelter and we know according to scriptures god is narayan he is the shelter of all living entities we are giving him shelter and we know according to scriptures that god is lakshmi pati he is the husband of goddess of fortune our krishna He is such a small boy, so he takes every uh, word from the Vishnu Sahasra and I mean proves to Uddhav how oh, Krishna doesn't have that quality. <laughs> so Uddhav then starts seeing Nand Maharaj and Nishoda crying, and he is thinking, how do I console them? He says, if ordinary person is crying, I should tell them don't cry. 
but they are crying for krishna so he tells them cry cry more <laughs> he is not able to convince them and then uddhava gets a beautiful realization he says what vrindavan people feel for krishna i can never feel that he gets this pole star realization he says when it is dark at night you cannot see the sun so to see the to when only when there is daylight you can see sun when sun appears on his own you can see sun so when there is sunlight uh when there is darkness darkness goes when sun comes but if you want to see pole star then sun has to go away so he says similarly we are in ignorance we are in darkness we don't know what is right and wrong so we we need knowledge of krishna which is like sun to remove all the ignorance but what vrindavan residents are feeling for that the knowledge of sun has to go away because that is what they are feeling is pole star to see the pole star we need darkness we need gyana avruta bhakti it's called kevala bhakti knowledge is completely covered they don't consider krishna as god this is vrindavan krishna you know uddhava one 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 godya mat sanyas you are saying krish uh, uddhava came to vrindavan wearing the hat of gyana knowledge this big hat he wore and he saw the vrindavan residents love for krishna he saw the love is so big love is so high he kept seeing their love who oh, the love is so high so high so high he kept seeing seeing and then his hat fell down <laughs> his hat of knowledge fell down so that's how krishna is wonderful in vrindavan but in kurukshetra he does something spectacular that we will discuss tomorrow when narendra modi the honorable prime minister of india he came to one of our iskon temples for janmashtami few years ago when he was the chief minister of gujarat and amdavad temple i think he said aap bhi krishna ke bhakt hain hum bhi krishna ke bhakt hain you are also devotee of krishna i am also devotee but difference ye hai ki aap vrindavan ke krishna ki upasana karte hain hum kurukshetra ke krishna ki upasana <laughs> i worship krishna of kurukshetra he said that <clears throat> so uh, so we will discuss tomorrow the beautiful pastimes in kurukshetra war that krishna performed which also shows his merciful and loving nature how he protects his devotees that we'll discuss tomorrow but to conclude today we discuss the main theme of what false pride so i will pause here and we'll take some questions on this theme of nalokuvera and mani grew deliverance by krishna if there are any comments or questions please you can ask them now ramji um how to actually identify false pride uh, and differentiate it with actual devotional practice sometimes we are doing devotional practice and that practice also like here yeah, i am doing this really great maybe like for example cleaning pots doing this really wonderfully and then thinking that like i am doing this so is there a chance that false pride creeps into that and how to identify i want to i forgot to mention see one thing is we have to overcome false pride but don't get too uh, don't get too worried about it see as long as you hold on to devotees association then devotees will hum make you humble if you are determined not to leave association of devotees then even if you are false pride it's okay because devotees will make you humble when you think too much about for humility na oh i have to overcome false pride i have to become humble then that causes paralysis by analysis because you cannot you cannot overcome false pride by your intelligence because he, false ego is more subtler than intelligence once jane was prabhu told me why are you so worried about false pride just do seva don't leave the devotees you will become humble do you get it it's like you know have you ever got pus in your body pus i once got on my thighs it's pus you know if somebody blows little air on it no it be, it feels good somebody rubs it on the side ah feel good but if somebody what happens ah right so false ego false pride is like pus in the heart theek hai so imagine you have pus 
if somebody blows air <sighs> prabhu you are such a nice you wash pot so nicely ha ah. somebody is saying all that the pus we don't feel bad but what devotees do no they come with on the right hand there is bead bag left hand they are carrying big needle <laughs> all devotees in this corner are carrying bead bag and needle hare krishna hare krishna and then we see the pus what we do pus ah krishna no this is not to encourage you to carry needle i'm just saying others may carry needle and they may puncture your pus at that time what you do if you have false pride but to remain with the devotee that is humility no humility as a very people have very apps very crazy idea about humility they think humility means body should be like this and i should look like this <laughs> and the tone should be hare krishna prabhu ha ah, he is very humble this is external humility has nothing to do with you know i know i knew one devotee in our temple he had joined he was always like this hare krishna prabhu hare krishna i don't know what was the speciality he never did any seva <laughs> i remember i was temple commander so i said are i used to get very angry with him because you know he is not offending anyone we are only offending him <laughs> and got so angry with him he is not doing any seva so i told him so i said okay let me give him one simple seva 15 minute seva stand there and give charanamrut so i rehearsed i visualized i will tell him like this so i went to him, prabhu just one small seva Just stand there for ten minutes. Give Charanamrut. You know what he did? No, Prabhu Ji. Hare Krishna. <laughs> I was so exasperated. So is that humility? So what I'm saying now? Don't worry too much about false pride. Just be with devotees. You have an external. Somebody has an external style. I know one Brahmacharya in our temple who's always like this, angry. You know, always passing harsh comment. But he's so sincere. Whole day he will do seva. Any devotee, any difficulty, he will give up everything to help them. so many times now we go by externals see the heart of a devotee humility many devotees have humility is what you know <laughs> humility is like give a very gross example humility is like an underwear you know <laughs> you wear it but you don't show it to everyone right <laughs> sorry i'm getting candid now <laughs> because i have been in the ashram for 25 years you know this topic itna analysis analysis karke i have given up humility we don't show it to everybody i am humble prabhu hari bol i am the most humble man in the universe <laughs> of all the good qualities i have humility is the best quality <laughs> in one town they had a they gave an award to one man in the village that town the most humble man in the town they gave him a badge also and then after two days they withdrew that batch because he used to put that batch everywhere and was going around i am the most humble man in the village so humility na is very very subtle you know benjamin franklin is one of the founding fathers of america so a very interesting past time of his life when he was a young boy one of his friends scolded him that you are very proud puffed up something so he decided that he will make a sadhana card I mean, we call it sadhana card he said i want to develop good qualities in life like patience determination humility kindness like that so he made a list of 15 qualities and on the left side he would write date and every day before sleeping he would tick if he had cultivated if he had done something to cultivate that quality so every day he would see okay patience today i was not patient so dash empathy i did tick like that so he did that for some 70 years every day so when he was dying old man his friend came to him who had criticized him when he was a teenager he said you you made all this sadhana card you sincerely took my comment so seriously for last 70 years you are doing this sadhana card so and you wanted to develop this 15 qualities have you developed all these qualities what do you see you are dying now in fact i have developed all the qualities except one out of those 15 i developed 14 but 15 i could not develop he said which one and why you could not develop that he said i could not develop humility because whenever i thought i developed it i became proud humility is very very subtle it's very internal very private so don't worry too much about uh, not being humble i mean you should be worried you can't be falsely proud because, but it's subtle na it's subtler than uh, intelligence 
So with their intelligence, you cannot figure out your false ego. You need satam kripa, you need mercy of devotees. That's why we need to hang around with devotees. When we hear from them, when we serve them, suddenly awakening happens. Oh, I was proud. You know, in Nalkuvir Mani past time, they got a slap. Sometimes we get slap. And we realize, oh, I should be careful. You know, I should. And we realize I have to become humble in association of devotees. In Hindi, they have a saying, Kad bada nahi karte edya uthane se. You know, the children, edya means heels. They, you know, children make, they stand on a heel and they try to become tall. Edya uthana. So you don't become tall by simply lifting your heels. Kad bada nahi karte edya uthane se. Unchaya to milti hai sar jukane se. In spiritual life, we get highest uh, blessings when we bend. And to bend is very difficult. So we have to be with the devotees. <laughs> they are carrying bead bag and one needle. <laughs> and they will puncture that pus. So don't worry. Just be, be with devotees. Happily serve. And if you feel the pain, come to other devotees who are not hurting you. They will give the anesthesia. See, I'll tell you, I don't want to take names and embarrass, but some of the best devotees I know in ISKCON were doing so much services. They have extreme humility. They have passed such big, big tests. So don't go by simply external, you know. Being with devotees itself is a big example of humility. It's not easy. Now, winter is coming in Seattle, right? So there is a story of porcupines. You know porcupines? They have the sharp spikes that come up. So this winter was very cold. So these porcupines came together and they were... Because when you come together, you get warmth. Ah! But when they came together, what happened? The spike was hitting. So one porcupine said, oh, this is hitting me, I'm leaving this group. So he went. But when he went out, what happened? The cold was killing him. So he came back. When he came back, what was hitting him? The spikes of other porcupines. So we are like that porcupine. And all devotees are like other porcupines. <laughs> and we come together because the, the, the cold of material energy. Material energy is extremely harsh, right? So, material energy is disturbing us. So, we come together for warmth. But then what happens? Other devotees, false ego, spikes. Then we get angry. I will leave this. What is this? Then we go, material energy is there. So, you have to take a call. What you want? So, I sometimes feel it is okay, some devotees, because I am also pinching someone inadvertently. <laughs> and when you realize, you know, you are also hurting someone, it's very humbling. We think I am very wonderful. But by her behavior, by our idiosyncrasies, I know one devotee who hates me. And when I think of it, I feel so humbled. I feel, kya kya you know, I was sincere, but anyway, this, that's how material energy is. At that time, if you hang around still and become humble, so it's okay, we all have false pride. Don't worry too much about it. I hope I didn't bewilder you too much. <laughs> Thank you, Prabhu. Shall we stop here, bro? <coughs> okay. Question? Okay. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Thank you for the wonderful class. Thank you, bro. Hare uh, Krishna, Prabhu. Uh, my question is, uh, it is said that for all the material activities, there will be a reaction. And, uh, what? All the? All, for all the material activities that we do, we will have a reaction. So, first of all, why, why there should be a reaction if I am doing some activity for my own sense gratification, I am not offending anyone. So, is it, the reaction is because I am forgetting Krishna, is that the only reason? Yeah, that is the reason. But reaction is good, no? If you do good, you get good reaction. You don't want good reaction. Like if you, if you help someone, you get, you don't want good reaction when you do good. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> that's a law. It's like asking, Prabhu, uh, why does law of gravity exist? You throw, you throw this, why does it come down? Law of gravity. So there is law of gravity, there is law of karma. Every action, Newton said, no? Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So you eat, um, you eat very hot, uh, spicy, bhel puri, pani puri, with lot of mirchi, masala, tikka. What will happen? Next day morning you will get very heavy reaction. You, you meet some stranger on the street and slap him, you get immediate reaction. 
तो दर इज इंस्टेंट कर्मा दर इज डिलेट कर्मा सो लाइफ में यू ऑलवेज गेट रिएक्शन दैट इज एक्शन एंड रिएक्शन दैट हैपन्स यू डू गुड यू गेट गुड रिएक्शन यू हेल्प समन इन नीड so what we do in are krishna is we ask devotees to remember krishna so what happens when we remember krishna then we don't get good or bad reaction we get spiritual reaction so we don't simply give food to poor people because if you give food to poor people you will get good reaction you will get next life more food more money all that but if you if you cheat someone you will get bad reaction so devotees understand that good and bad both are bad because ultimately you have to again come back to material world so what we will do we will give food but we will remember krishna and give so that we don't have to come back here it is better than good it is it is transcendental and that person who is taking food he is not is not taking ordinary food he is taking krishna prasad so his spiritual life will also begin so best is to have krishna you getting it it is like you know some orphan child is there one person comes and tells the child oh this orphan child he is suffering so much let me give him food he gives food and goes away another person comes oh this child is crying let me give him clothes he gives clothes and goes away another person comes and says oh this child is so hungry and starving let me give him 100 rupees he gives 100 rupees but fourth person devotee comes and says oh this child is lost let me take this child to his parent so while taking this child to the parent i will feed him also i will give him clothes also i will take care of him but i will take him to his father <laughs> you see that person is doing the best service similarly when we are serving in this world we will get we are not really helping people but when we help everyone get connected to krishna then we are actually helping people so if you don't want to suffer again and again birth and death in this material world the bhagavad gita says connect to krishna remember krishna and connect everybody to krishna then there will be no karma reaction thank you also could you please explain the definition of purushartha <laughs> purushartha so <laughs> the vedic scriptures say that you know we do our dharma artha kama and moksha we follow religious duties and when we follow religious duties and then earn money properly that is called artha and that artha we use for you know with that artha we engage in some sense gratification that is kama and after engaging in sense gratification we suffer and we realize this is all useless and then we desire moksha so in vedic cycle people go through dharma artha kama and moksha they follow religious duties and earn money according to religious means they go through samskaras they fulfill their desires in a proper way but eventually they get detachment and they leave everything so one who follows this cycle of dharma artha kama moksha he said to be following the purushartha but the purushartha shiromani is kevala bhakti where we connect with krishna then all the dharma artha kama we perform is for somehow connecting to krishna and coming out of the cycle of birth and death so therefore na <coughs> pure devotion service is uh, purushartha shiromani you know bhagavatam helps us connect with krishna directly thank you we'll stop here grantra shrimad bhagavatam ki jai shila prabhupad ki jai thank you very much hare krishna